There's a reason why we keep falling in love with Nepal. One of those reasons happened to be the kind, warm-hearted and friendly locals. And today, we are going to meet a special Nepali local with an extraordinary story. It didn't start off like that. We thought we were going to have some delicious food before going on our big trek to Everest Base Camp. We are going to be spending the day with some incredible children, some incredible locals. And this Nepali man is going to share his incredible story as to why he is the hero of Kathmandu. So let's go explore. We have come back to Nepal after five months and in our previous video, we explored the streets of Kathmandu again and ate some local delicious Tibetan and Nepali food. But we met so many incredibly friendly and warm-hearted locals and we realized that's why we love Nepal so much. And today gives us an opportunity to meet some more local people, have some fun and a way to give back as Nepal has given us so much. Since we've been on the road for over four years, every now and again, we always crave something that's a little bit familiar to us and reminds us of home. We don't often do that. We love to always go to a new country, experience a new culture, and obviously eat the local cuisine. Today, we actually realized that we've been walking past a specific restaurant for more than a week now. There is a specific reason why we're going to try out this food. Look at the street paving. We've seen this is the only street that's been paved. Yeah, they're trying to redo the street. It's gonna be like a bustling street in the future. Just down here is the place that we wanna to go to. And I can see the owner is here. So we get to meet him today and hear a bit about his story. So let's go check it out. Hi Namaste. <laughs> Hello. Namaste. How are you? Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. We've come to try the famous burgers. <laughs> We've heard the burgers are the best here. So. Thank you, thank you. Let's sit here. Oh, we get first hand seating, front row yeah. seating. Front row seats. <laughs> what are you feeling like? What's your favorite? Are uh, you feeling like uh, chicken or red meat? Oh, I would say maybe chicken. Do you like bacon? Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> Can't say no to bacon. Chicken and bacon, this one is one of the best ones we have. Okay. It's a little bit spicy. Ooh, uh, that's yeah. perfect for yeah. me. What do you feel like? Well, I heard that there was a special burger that has a special like meaning. That would be a uh, battle of church. This is named after my past boss. So it's been about seven years now wow. that I left that particular job. In Australia? In Australia. You take all the photos? Yeah. Wow. Here's one, here's one all. Oh uh, he's taken gosh. in our studio upstairs. So absolutely brilliant. Yeah, like you've captured so much, so much detail so much. in this. Like yeah. I want to just you, try everything on the menu. I want to drink that. <laughs> I want to yeah. drink that. Oh, this is you? Yeah. Oh, look how cute this is. It definitely uh, looks like it you. It looks yeah. the same. <laughs> the camera also. Oh, yes, of course. I just love the look of this restaurant. It's so like compact, which is like all the shops and restaurants here in Kathmandu. I feel like in Nepal, there's so many restaurants here that are family owned and they all support each other in their community. After being here for just a few minutes, we can see that it's like a team and a family owned business and restaurant. And we're going to try some delicious food. Here in Kathmandu, you can have local Tibetan and Nepal food but you can also have incredible burgers and western food they're actually making our food right now so they've actually been kind enough to invite us in behind the scenes so we can actually see how it's made let's go Namaste. Hello. Namaste. we get to see like the behind the scenes this is where the magic happens <laughs> these are where the fries are made so clean i know oh it's spotless I already smell all the goodness all the flavors that i'm about to devour so i've just seen that this is our burger being made right now since i think we're the first customers early this morning. We were too keen. These guys all seem to know what they're doing. I'm so glad that we get to come in here and see what it's like. You never get to see the behind the scenes. Thank you. There you Their speciality is the milkshake. So we're going to have yes. to try one of these out. This lovely gentleman's recommended the Oreo shake. So I think I'm going to have to have that. But what about for him? What do you recommend? The watermelon Ooh. It's also amazing. Watermelon. Perfect. I think I would order every single one of these. I think the last time I had an Oreo milkshake, I think I was, I don't know, seven years old. We have not had any milkshakes for over four years in Southeast Asia. So this is going to hit the spot for me. I was inspired by Jenny and Alice because whenever I saw her videos, whenever I saw her stories, whenever I watched Shark Tank, I used to love 
how she presented herself. That's so awesome. Yeah, when I <laughs> saw this, I definitely thought, okay, yeah. that looks like Boost Juice. And we've yeah. only had it once before. Yeah. I love that. And it's yeah. like power, like powerful. It gives you a boost. <laughs> yeah. And welcome to a glass full of good life. Oh, that's, that's special. Message. So I got inspired by a lot of people throughout my journey. And uh, I just started quoting everybody. And if they've been able to inspire me, I thought like, maybe that's what I should be doing too, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> and you said you were in Australia. Yeah. What made you come back here? I worked from the bottom level and then I started grooming myself and I thought, all right, this is my full capacity. I can do so much here. Yeah. That's when I came back and then I thought, I've got this little home here so I can yeah. build something. I've Wait, got... this is your home? This is my home, yeah. No <laughs> way. So you, you lived in this building? I lived, I actually was born in this building. Oh my God. So no way. We started renovating this house because it, it was very old. It looked like this home here at the side. So it was something like this, like a uh, very traditional style building. Would you like to come upstairs? This yeah, this, this we would love like that. Your, like, like see your house. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is turning into one of the coolest days ever. We're actually getting a tour of what we thought was just a burger restaurant is now actually a childhood home. Thank you for showing us your no house. Problem, no problem. I can't believe it. Wait, how many floors are? Uh, uh, I think it's seven or eight floors. Seven, seven floors? floors yeah. You know what I love is you see a restaurant and you don't realize the story behind it. And that's why we wanted to showcase this story in particular is because every Nepali person just wants to support their community and create something out of what they have. Oh, these are so cool. Look so, at this book. <laughs> yeah, that is me. That's you? Yeah, so I've got, we've got so many cartoon characters <laughs> and uh, you'll see me eating always because I'm the fat one. Oh. Uh, we are a family as well. We are just cousins and Whoa. we work together to build this uh, teaser palette. So she's like the manager, yeah. she's on top, she's you got the chef, wife, yeah. he's the photographer, he's got a camera around him Yeah. and then you're eating the delicious burger, so you're yes. like the taste tester yeah. uh, You get the best job <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at this Oh, there's another picture Who knew that somebody who has a thriving business just welcomes you in, shows you and tells you their story and their life and it actually makes you fall in love with Nepal and the people even more. Every time we go out in Kathmandu or anywhere we've been in Nepal, the people are just so welcoming to us and we're foreigners, we're guests in your so country. So you know, we don't call foreigners, there is a saying in Nepalese, all uh, members are gods, so whoever come inside wow. our home, they just don't come from anywhere, so they are gods, that's why they come. Oh. I can't believe this is your home, like, yeah. this is where you grew up. Yes, I, I actually did. I'm so happy that you guys are oh, coming along. Thank you. Yeah. Who knew we were just ordering a burger and this is what's happening? <laughs> this particular room used to be my, my room, so really? I used to sleep in that room. No, no way. way. Yeah. So my mom and dad used to sleep here. Now it's a, it's a, it's a Japanese cocktail bar. You would never think that when yeah. you no. just see a restaurant. We no. got more. So many layers. And to we this. keep going. <laughs> so this is the kitchen where we used to dine in, making your drinks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, our drinks and are being made. We used to be in the, on the floor, and we used to sit down, and then we used to eat dalbat. No, <laughs> you ate dalbat on this floor. Oh, oh my yeah. god. This building never existed. Really? It used to be a big field and we used to sit here and sunbathe. You're kidding! Yeah. Vajay here is one of my best staffs. He's seriously meticulous about everything he's doing. Yeah. Can you see all the detail of this? This was like made to perfection. You think I should take a sip right now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Of is it good? This is the best shake. I've ever had in my entire life. Like, I'm not kidding. I think that too. <laughs> he agrees. <laughs> it contains um, all of my love in that. I feel it. <laughs> oh, you know. yeah. So now, every time you finish making a drink, you have to carry it down four stories. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he has to take our milkshakes all the way yeah. down. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna try my virgin watermelon mojito, which looks like a tropical deluxe treat. And we're in the middle of Kathmandu. It's life changing. He's pretending he's on the Pokhara Lake. I was about to say, I feel like I'm on the beach or I'm like tanning on the Pokhara Lake. 
Thank you so oh, thank much. you. I got to keep the Oreo. I forgot that there were two Oreos in this. Yeah. These are so good. Yeah. This is by far the best one I've ever had. It's delicious. <laughs> and it made us like kind of fall in love with Nepal even more and the people. It's really inspiring. And thank you for showing us. Our pleasure, actually. Wow. Thank you so much. This looks absolutely mouth-watering. The burger is huge. Where do I even begin? And it's got a little fresh bun on top and we could actually see how they were making it behind the scenes. It's turned out way better than expected. I ordered the chicken bacon cheeseburger. This one is Devon's burger. I think he's got the onions and cheese and the beef patty. So it says on the menu that this is a sweet and savory one, which is why I got it. It's got the little caricature on top. I think this is the chef. And I've got the owner. This is what I'm going to look like. Right now. That's what I want to look like. That's the goal. <laughs> and the menu says that it's so good that a dance might occur. I'm nervous. Who knows what's going to happen? Whoever's watching this, I'm so sorry. If you're not eating a burger right now, I apologize. I kind of want to have the perfect bite of just like chicken and bacon and cheese and all the good stuff. A lot of people say like heaven is a myth, but Nepal is real. That's how I feel about this burger. Whoa. <laughs> The happy oh, dance is happening. The dancing is occurring. The dancing is occurring. I'm messing everywhere. That's how you know the burger is good. It is a sweet, super juicy burger. I don't care if it's messy. I don't care if I have sauce on my face. It's spicy. It's cheesy. It's saucy. In our previous video, we told you that we will be hiking up to Everest Base Camp. And I am so nervous because we've got zero training. I will come back after two weeks of freezing cold and I will have this. I think this is the best chicken burger I've ever had. Thank you so much. Sweet, thank you. Thank we'll, you. Be back. Thank we'll you. definitely be back. We got a little gift. I can't wait to see what it is. Oh, no way. Open it and see. Do you know how badly I wanted this? <laughs> Ever since I saw you wearing one, I was like, oh, yes, you have one on. Yeah. So, so we're so part of the team. Yeah. 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 <laughs> And I got you guys the same color oh, of the twins. Thank you so much. We'll take it up Everest. We will. We're yeah. going to Everest. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All we're going to do is think about this burger. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can come back and then exactly. have another we're one. Gonna come back and have another oh, one. Yeah. Today has been quite the eventful day and it's not stopping now. We got to talking a little bit and give us actually volunteers and gives back to his community. So we're actually going to the orphanage right now with the owners of the cafe that we've literally walked past for weeks and weeks on end, even when we came to Kathmandu last time. And we're going to volunteer, we're going to spend some time with some kids. I think there's about 13 of them. Wow, we get to go in the car for the first time. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting us to come along. Because we like travel and never board, we never get to be in a car. So <laughs> this is like is a special occasion. Is this the first time you guys are sitting in a car? Yeah. First time in a car in Nepal. Besides a taxi, you mean? Yeah. Do you go to the orphanage very often? Uh, it's been about uh, six, months. six months now. We'll be going again with few of our other friends maybe soon I think next month oh. we usually go to this one because we know who operates it and we know exactly how they treat their kids yes so we trust this place the yes. first time we went was in 2019 and there was this little boy three or four years old not three years old he's uh, smaller than oh. that I think just months yeah. he's three years old now, now three to four yeah. years yeah. and he's grown up and he knows us Yes. Whenever we go, and he, we always ask, like, do you remember me? He says yes, yes. I don't know if he does or not. <laughs> but... Before we make our way to the orphanage, we stopped at this sports store, which is actually Diaz's father's store. And we've got a few things for the kids. We've got some chess boards, snakes and ladders, and a few footballs. And I think it's going to be extra special to give them something that they can use and play with. Maybe even we can play football or some chess with it. We feel very lucky and grateful that we've met you. Yeah. Now we can kind of give something back to Nepal because Nepali people have been so friendly to us. Yeah. Maybe we can play some games Oh with yes, them. I can't yeah. wait. We've just arrived. Yeah. Let's go and meet some kids. <laughs> Thank you so much. So this is an orphanage that they started to help the kids here and I'm glad that we get to give something back. You can hear them. They sound like they've got lots of energy. This is going to be such a special moment for us and I've wanted to do this for so long. You know what? It doesn't matter who you meet in Nepal. They're always, always wanting to give back to the community and we finally get to participate. So let's go meet these kids. 
it's all up to the sponsors to give back and you can actually sponsor a child and you can help donate to this orphanage to help the kids. So let's go meet them. They have so much energy. I wish I had that much energy. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. We have to make sure that the kids are actually here because they go to school and then they come back. So this is the perfect time. Let's go. <laughs> Namaste. So they've actually bought them the Tease Your Palette shirts. Shirts are new. It's a shirt. Burger Ballet. Love me. Love me. Love It's so nice to see their happy faces and actually the owner of Tease Your Palette's name on the board because he comes here so often. Just so happy to have the shirt. And their faces lighting up just like all my heart. in some of these rooms, study at these desks. Yeah, they found multiple rooms here, upstairs, so wow. ladies, gents. Every single kid has grown up here and then found a job and been able to sustain himself and move out and then new children come in. It's, that's so special. That's the whole point of having a foundation like this and that it's so successful. Now we get to go and play football with the boys. <laughs> so as soon as we gave them the games and the balls, they immediately just ran out the yeah. room. <laughs> <laughs> they played here? Oh, shoot. There's Ronaldo. Yeah. <laughs> so this is kind of like a general area where the kids can play around and now they've got a ball to do so and you can see all the way up here it's about a five or six story building so like many Ronaldo's <laughs> don't show off <laughs> this is currently my Everest training <laughs> Sure, they're better than you. They're dominating. <laughs> After a short little workout, they're way fitter than I am. You just get a real sense of family here. All of them look after each other and they look after the smallest one. I'm so glad that we got to do this. And a huge thank you to Tease Your Pellet. They allowed us to come here and experience this and give back something small just to these kids. We're gonna say goodbye to them now. So next time we come back to Nepal, we can see them. We'll leave a link to the orphanage in the description below so you can check it out. If you want to come here and you can donate something, we'll really appreciate that and I know the kids will too. Enjoy, we'll see you next time. You are so good. You're very, very good. Nice to meet yes. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, nice to meet you. That just warmed my heart. What a special, special day in Kathmandu. This is why I love this country. Please support if you can, because this is just unbelievable. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! My name is Divas Tulader. I own a small restaurant here. It's called Tease Your Palette and we have four family members. The reason why it's got a T in front of the name is because it's our last name, initials. All of you have the same We've got last the same name. last name okay. and uh, your palette came after a glass of beer. Yes. <laughs> My mission is to like, if someone comes inside the restaurant, one bite is not going to be enough. So it's gonna, it has to tease your palate. Not only is he making absolutely delicious food, but he's creating such a good message, always positive vibes. And it just makes you keep coming back and it keeps making you feel like you're in love with Nepal. Thank you for being kind to us, welcoming us to Nepal. Of course, of we course. couldn't even begin to show you our gratitude and Thank we so always want to support your business yeah. so if you're watching this video if you loved the story go and check out tease your palette check them out on instagram check out their website if you enjoyed this video let us know and we'll see you in the next one Bye. <laughs> <laughs>